Hey everybody, I'm making a response to Ketatex analysis about healthcare, and uh, to be perfectly honest, I can't really sum it up better than he can. Um, I personally am a big fan of Tennessee Synergy's single payer healthcare program. I think that it would benefit this country a lot. Uh, other countries in Europe and Australia and whatnot have you know, these universal health care programs have been successful and a lot of, you know, conservatives might go on lines of, oh, well, uh, they're, 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 you know, rich, the rich people come here to get help, you know, to get health care. And it's not because we have the better health care programs, it's because we have the better doctors. I also have to say that I agree with Ron Paul, if that's kind of a stretch, it's like oil and water. Dennis has finished his plan, personally, would work, but so would Ron Paul's lack thereof. Having it privatized makes so much sense. Anybody who lived long enough to live before the rise of government, governmental control of health care, before the 70s, um, they're generally conservatives because we had a little bit less government control in, in our lives, and, and health care was no different. If you know, you got sick or you got injured, you go to the hospital, you get yourself fixed, no problem. You either pay for it, you made payments on it. It was no big deal. And this government, you know, they are basically making a monopoly out of it. And them and the corporations are in it together to make a huge profit. They're not paying out to the people that need it. And, pe and, and people are just getting, you know, screwed, ultimately. The costs are way too high, the care isn't adequate, and it's just ridiculous for people who live middle class or, or, or below. We really need to to go one way or another. We're, we're kind of like balancing right in the middle, and I guess in a way, you know, it's kind of, you know, neutral, you know, somewhat government control, somewhat, uh, privatized, but it, it's really in terrible shape. And unfortunately, because of where it's at, liberals are going to complain that there's there's uh, not enough government control. We need to make it fully government uh, government control. And conservatives are going to complain that there, it, there's uh, not enough privatization. There's too much government control. So we need to go one way or the other. I like Kittitech's idea about having it you know, no no federal program and have the states decide. That way we have the, no span, we have the results in and people can and can look at the facts and go, oh yeah, California's health care system actually works. And I think that that would be a good start and then maybe we can implement a better federal program later on. But right now we need to get rid of the corruption, we need to get rid of, of the scandals, we need to get rid of, of the monopolies and we need to get rid of the government interfering with our lives. And I think health care is something that a lot of liberals are going to, it's going to be hard for them to, to grasp uh, the, the thought of a private organization possibly, you know, helping people. But it, it really does, does work. You know, private organizations, if, as long as there's competition, they're not going to let their, their customers die or get injured because they'll go out of business. They'll strive to do better and have lower costs, so that way they can make better profits. I, it, it works just like it does in any other uh, consumer service or, or good. So really, having healthcare privatized makes total sense. That's how it was back in the day, and that's how it should be today. That's how it should be because of the Constitution. But if we're going to go governmental care, then we need to go all the way. You know, like, none of this half-ass shit. So anyways... For all you liberals out there who just don't want you want to consider Ron Paul because of his stance on health care, just, just think about it the way I kind of laid it out for you and just realize that there are more pressing issues in America today um, than whether or not there's, there's enough or not enough health, uh, governmental control over health care. So, you know, Dennis Kucinich or Ron Paul, but nobody else. Do the right thing and vote for Ron Paul.